this is a typical Brazilian rainforest. One of the most biodiverse places on Earth, it is home to thousands of species, plants and animals. Including this one, the black tufted marmoset. But this particular forest isn't quite what it seems. Because it lies in the middle of Belo Horizonte, Brazil's third largest city. This is Parque Mangabeiras, a large park just outside the city. The park is over 200 hectares big, making it more of an actual forest. And so the marmosets here live a fairly natural life. They live in family groups, usually consisting of a couple and their young. Their days often start off by enjoying the sun. But as they get hungry, they need to feed. Sometimes they hunt for eggs. Or, if this fails, they feed on flowers and gum. But in another park, life isn't quite so natural. In the heart of the city lies Parque Municipal. It is a place of leisure for Belo Horizonte, 5 million inhabitants. It's home to a vast array of wildlife and they all coexist peacefully with the park's visitors. The park is so small, there is only space for one family of marmosets. They interact with humans on a daily basis. This contact is often initiated by the park's visitors, who have come to adore the marmosets. É, eu acho ótimo ter os micos aqui. Eu acho fofo, acho agradável ter eles no parque. Eles são muito bonitinhos e acho que é uma coisa da natureza bem legal, assim, pro parque. Eu acho importante que é até um atrativo turístico pra gente, né? People like them so much they feed them in the hope of closer contact. É uma situação meio complicada, né? Porque igual, eu até alimentei ele e dei banana para ele. A gente sabe que é uma alimentação 
que eles têm costume de comer frutas. Agora, por exemplo, um salgado, alguma outra coisa, eu já não daria, porque eu sei que não é esse tipo de alimentação que eles encontram na natureza e que se alimentam. The feeding is common. Not everyone thinks it should be done. Eu prefiro não alimentar os micos no parque porque eu não sei qual a alimentação adequada que posso dar para eles. Scientists working with the marmosets hope that with education they can stop people from feeding them. É, alimentar eles, na verdade, nem poderia, né? Mas, né? O que, que a gente pode fazer? Que é ter um contato mais próximo com eles e é a forma que a gente tem de, de chamar eles para pertinho, né? Para essa continuar o struggle. Living in the city can also be dangerous. A new kind of predator is larking, and the marmosets have to be vigilant. for cats. With a population of well over 50 cats in the park, the marmosets are never safe. Cats hunt the marmosets and can attack a few times a day. Sometimes they succeed. But not today. In the late afternoon, it's time for the marmosets to return to their nest. Only a few trees in the park are safe from cats, including this eucalyptus tree. The tree is so high, cats can't climb it. But the journey to get to the tree can take up to an hour to complete. And as it gets darker, the marmosets are at increasing risk of being hunted. So they can't waste any time. The marmosets call to each other while they travel. By doing so, they will know where every member of the group is. until they're all back at the nest. Life in the city brings new challenges. Adaptation is a key skill for survival. And the marmosets have just what it takes. <laughs>